Alright, today I'm going to show you all of the track.me tracker settings available. Uh, we've been updating the site since track.me launched and so it's changed a little bit and there's some new options in there so I wanted to show uh, what they were. So first I'm going to open up one of my trackers. I'm going to go to edit settings. Uh, the first tracker name now this name is for your own use but we also display in the title bar of the browser if you're um, using our social frame so it's good to put something that will make sense to everybody but uh, for the most part it's it's for your own use um, and most people clicking on links aren't going to be looking at the title link but if they say bookmark it or tweet or whatnot a lot of times Twitter and the bookmarks will use that so try to have it uh, useful for both uh, the tracker domain lets you uh, customize where the tracker link is set to. Um, here you can see I've got a few different domains I've added in. I've got the business plan so I was able to add in my own domains into the system. Custom text is the text. You can see here my tracker link is track.me slash Tim. I picked Tim because that's me and that's how I remember it. Uh, affiliate tracking is for business owners. If I wanted to track affiliates using my tracker link, I'd put what's here. Usually it's something like this, like refer equals or ref ID or ID. So uh, if you're doing affiliate tracking, you probably know which what that is. Um, now for what most of you are probably confused about, tracking results. Um, manually using the conversion tracker that's if you're going to put the conversion image on your thank you page or you copy and paste a javascript to your page to track clicks um, that sort of thing so next is automatically track clicks as conversions this if you can't edit your page will usually do the trick um, will convert basically what we're doing here is, is using a proxy to put that JavaScript on the page so when people click links it gets tracked into your tracker stats tracking form submissions is basically the same thing but instead we're uh, tracking only forms and we'll modify Aweber links and whatnot Aweber forms I should say so that if somebody submits to the form then it tracks the submission through track.me. Now when you're using these automatic trackers it's good to test your trackers afterwards because there are uh, there are instances when this will actually mess up your page. It uses a proxy like I said earlier so uh, depending on how your site's set up some sites don't do well with proxies so always check it so that way you're not wasting traffic um, and if you need help setting up the manual tracking, send in a support ticket, call us on the phone. We'll, we'll definitely uh, help you as much as we can um, because we want you tracking your results. That's where tracking becomes the most useful. Uh, advanced settings, uh, social frame. I'll show you what this is. I'll, I'll hit save and then I'll go to my tracker. All right, this is the social frame. Hey guys. Whoa. Uh, you can see right here, it's got my photo, a link to my track.me referral link, like, tweet, pin. Uh, we actually use add this on this, so uh, you might see different buttons here based on what you use the most, uh, which is really neat. Uh, add this, the reason we're using that is a lot of people, a lot of blogs, a lot of websites use it, and they actually get to know each end user. So me, I use Facebook likes a lot and tweets a lot. And I actually tried the pin button. I'll admit it, I'm a guy, but I tried clicking the Pinterest button and so it shows me those three items. But if I go over here and start using stumble upon, it'll actually put the stumble button right here for me. So what by using this service we're actually able to make it a lot easier for everybody seeing your links to share it however they normally share it. And that gets more people sharing your stuff and it, it'll actually share your tracker link so if somebody likes this here I'll, I'll like it oh, I want to put in my password never mind I'll do it later um, if somebody likes it 
they'll click on the Facebook the tracker link and then track.me will show you the hits coming from Facebook so it's kinda neat you can do that and uh, it's optional um, some people were upset that you know we had this on by default and um, I was just I put it on as default because I like being able to easily share the pages so you can turn that on and off um, oops any account can do that where was I alright edit settings um, alright so that's the social frame showing your photo you can turn that on or off automatically track advertising sources uh, most likely you'll just keep that on that's how Facebook or Twitter or whatever site people are clicking on will actually um, show up in your list but some people like to have ultimate control so you turn that off then when you go to track.me slash Tim you would put say you know uh, video test oops I forgot the T but there I, I picked my tag so when I go over to the stats you'll see here video test shows up there um, so some people like to specifically use that which is good if you're doing email if you're sending out an email um, you probably don't care too much whether they're clicking from Yahoo Mail or Gmail or Hotmail um, you're probably more concerned about figuring out which link in your email they're clicking so that makes more sense for emails um, or maybe even tweets maybe you want to track different um, uh, text with your links you can tag it that way so turning that off just make sure that you don't get filled up with other stats if you don't want them alright um, cloaking uh, there's controversy over cloaking to be honest I don't know whether it actually helps or not um, there have been people who say there are actual viruses out there that can um, change your referral links into whoever created the virus which is believable to me um, and people wanted it so that's what cloaking does it it prevents that um, I, I mean you can cloak it or not it's up to you and uh, I'll say honestly I don't cloak because I'm not too concerned about that uh, most people have good antiviruses now so I'm not gonna scare you into using it but if you want to you can cloak it uh, third-party conversion tracking um, this you'll want to turn on say if you're promoting track.me or any other site that says they've got the track.me conversion tracking set up um, basically we have a way of program owners putting in some code so you know say you're an affiliate of one of our other sites and you're promoting it and you want to know if people are signing up to your link well you click this little checkbox here and we've got this this code set up on our end and we'll put that conversion image on the thank you page for you um, because you can't edit you know our programs or our thank you pages so uh, that's what that's what they're for um, meta tags this is used um, for your trackers it'll show up in say Facebook or Twitter or whatnot you can put a description and you can put an image that way when um, you know you share it on Facebook or somebody clicks that Facebook like button instead of some random image it shows this image on the uh, Facebook share post so gives you con uh, control over what's what's being used to display your links and JavaScript this is here for um, basically anything that you would need it for most people wouldn't you can see here I just put a JavaScript comment that says Tim was here um, you know some people might want to put Google analytic analytics on their tracker links personally I use track.me for my ads and Google analytics for my blogs or main content um, but not for the ads themselves so I like to separate the two some people want to have it on both some people want to put um, I know AdSense has, I think it's like a revisitors campaign thing. So you put a JavaScript on your page, and then if somebody is, say, on Google and they're search searching for something, um, Google will put ads about your site because they know they've already been there once. I mean, there's lots of different reasons why you'd want to put 
uh, a job script in there and we give you the option um, just anytime you do stuff like that make sure you tra uh, test your tracker because you want to make sure that the tracker works before you start sending tons of traffic to it and those are the options um, for tracking links if you're doing banners or counters there'll be different options for instance I'll go over to counters real quick um, here's my test counter I think this is on my blog actually no maybe not I don't know where, what it's on alright let's go to settings so here you can see you can change what it, the display is and uh, which stat to display and same thing with the tracker domain you can change that too so just some options for you uh, banners I'll just go over it real quick banners have less options because pretty much just banners being shown so not too much you can do with that um, so here it is just picking the domain that's all and the name for your own use so there you go those are the tracker settings I'll try to uh, update this video anytime we uh, add new settings on there so that way you can always come back here and, and figure out how everything works enjoy track.me and don't forget if you need any help call us on the phone send in a support ticket um, tweet us you know however you want to get a hold of us get a hold of us we love to to help our customers we love everybody using track.me and all the support you guys have given us so please uh, don't ever say ah oh, this is confusing forget about it just send us a message we'll help you through it bye